Hi, hello and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, let's see how we can set and use payment methods in order 15 point of sale. So here, when you open point of sale, you can come under configuration and find the menu payment methods. Uh, so here we have some pre-configured payment methods and when I open my cache, you can find uh, the name. Then here we have a checkbox to identify customer. So this forces to set a customer when using this payment method and it splits the journal entries for each customer. Then we can set a journal for uh, your payment method to post the accumulated uh, payments after closing session. So here we have three options. So for cash journal, uh, we directly uh, like post or write to the default account in the journal through statement lines. And if you set it as bank, then uh, we will write or post the outstanding account specified in uh, this payment method. And here we have option to add intermediary account. So we can uh, keep this empty to use a default account from company setting. Or we can override the company's receivable account uh, for point of sale using journal entries. If we can find the available options. So we can see from configuration settings that we already have set a default intermediary account. You can see this account receivable POS. So now let's create a new payment method. We enable this, choose cash journal, save this. Now come back to dashboard and here we have a shop KYC. Let's go to settings of this point of sale. And here you can find a section payments. There we can add payment methods uh, available for our shop. So already cash and bank are added. Now let me add demo payment. Then now let me save the point of sale. And let's start a new session. You can add opening cash. So if a customer came and ordered some products, and here we can click on payment to make the payment. So you can find the payment methods available in this shop. And here, if you choose cash, uh, you can see automatically that amount is pre-filled. And now we can validate. You can see the total amount paid uh, by the customer. And you can view the payment method used. Now let me close the interface and when you check the orders, you can see an amount uh, 4,250.40 is paid by the customer, B company. And here we can find the order details like the order reference session, then the cashier and date and time of the payment, then the products. And here we have a tab where we can check the payment details of this order. Can be a date and time of payment the payment method used and you can find the total amount paid. Now, if you check the payments, uh, here we can find uh, all the payments done through cash, bank, 
and you can unfold and check uh, the lines. Here you can find the total amount, order, then payment method and the session. Now let's continue selling product. And here we can choose our payment method, demo payment. Now validate it. Can see the payment method as a demo payment. Let's close this. Now let me check the orders. You can see the order details here. Payment information. Like you can view the payment date, time and payment method used for making the payment. And here when you check the payments, you can see the payments done using this payment method, demo payment. You can find the payment details. So that's all about payment methods in Odo 15 Pond of C. And if you're looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, Drop your request to odoatcybrosis.com.